Mommy, you just don't get what I am saying. All I am saying to you is that I can handle my own issues. I do not need my mother interfering in my personal business. So, my life has always been a bit complicated, but it never stopped me from leaving. Nah, not for once. When you start to act like an adult that you are, then I'll stay out of your business. Until then, I'll stay in your business. Mother. 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 I can handle my business. Son. 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 No, you can't. Angela! Angela! Yes, Ma? Please get the door. Okay, Ma. I love you too. Look, we have to get to the bottom of this. You can't keep being angry all the time and think you can solve everything. Oh. Hello, Mother. Hello, dear. How are you? <laughs> it's good to see you. Same here, Ma. <laughs> um, good afternoon, Ma. Mm -hmm. Greg, say hello. At least give her a hug. This is my wife. Well, my ex-wife. Uh, more like soon-to-be ex-wife. Dish, bitch. <clears throat> Why did you come here with him? Um, he's my fiancé and he's my lawyer. And this is my best friend. Sorry, was my best friend. He just engages my soon-to-be ex-wife. Apparently, he didn't get the memo. Bros over hoes. And if I remember correctly, you have refused to sign the divorce papers. Good to see you too. Oh, go well, fuck yourself. Son, language. I don't like him here. I don't want him to come here. If you sign the damn papers, you won't have to. I am not signing those papers until we revisit the terms. She deserves everything she asked for. Shut up. Uh, well, well, we're off to a good start, aren't we? Shall we? I think we should get us some drinks, right? Let me check on Angela to see. Oh, no, mommy, I'll do that, don't worry. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Baby, mm -hmm. I'll be right back. Oh, Angela! Angela! Hi. How are you? I'm fine. 
Good. 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 So, what is he doing here? That ass, though. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, that's my girl, Koda's ex girlfriend. Okay, I know what you were thinking. In my defense, they broke up before we started dating. I bet you miss him, don't you? <laughs> More like he misses me, girl. You know that man was happier when he was with me. Hey, shut up. Don't you dare speak to my woman like that. What would you do? Uh, guys. Guys. No, what would you do? Okay, guys. Guys, guys. All right, I should do. That's enough. Good. Okay, the other marine. Uh, Angela. Angela. I know where I'm going. Yeah, but you always make me call you twice. Thank you, baby. You got great taste. I like some people. Hi. Ah. Now we're complete. Oh, no. Take it easy. Take it easy, please. Sit. Are you sure? You no, no, no. I insist. I insist. Oh. Ma, you can have my sister. Oh, right, thank you. <clears throat> How are you feeling? Hi, the baby. Very fine. Oh, is he kicking? Yes, he's oh. kicking us. I'm sure she's fine, Mom. You don't need to fuss about her. You know it's a mother's thing and you would not understand it, would you? No, this is Nena. She is... Mm. You know what? Let's leave this introduction for later. Ouch! Oh. The fact that you're pregnant doesn't mean you can talk to me like that, you fool. I will beat you up even when okay. I'm pregnant. Okay, ladies, let's calm down. Calm down. I'm sorry, Mom. I don't know you're not. And how would you know that? Because he knows you. Well, I know her too if she says she's sorry. Okay, guys, okay! The baby can feel the negative energy in the room. Exactly. Really, Nana? Really? Yes, really. The last time I checked, I'm the one carrying the pregnancy, not any of you. The fact that you're pregnant doesn't mean you should talk to me like that. If I don't have a child, it's because your idiot baby daddy kept saying we're not ready. All I know is that I deserve some respect. And who is this? This is my man and you will not disrespect him, okay? Hey, you shut up, shut up you bitch! You have the right to fuck everyone! Shut Mom, oh, shut up, Granny. This is all your fault. You had a woman who loved you. And you threw it all away by sleeping with your friend. Come on. Oh, FYI, men and women shouldn't be friends. With benefits. And then to make it worse, you got engaged to your best friend's girl. Come on. He was dating my wife. And so what? Two wrongs don't make a right. Tell him, Mom. Tell him. Really? What are you smoking? Huh? Because I don't see any reason why you think that you have no fault in all of this. Come on, that's your best friend. At least that's what we thought it was. He supported you through level 100. And he got you your first job. And then you turn around and get engaged to his wife? We're all gonna solve all this issue today so everyone can get out there and get their lives together. I would really love that. Yeah, I would. Oh, good. Angela! Angela! What is ready, Mom? 
the table set? No, I, I was waiting to ask you first. Set the table, Angela. Oh, no. I would like to use the restroom, please. Okay, then. Do you need help? No, 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 no. There you are, honey. Well, I guess we can go to the table, sit down, and eat like civilized people. Well? Oh. Oh. <clears throat> I have no idea why you all choose to act so rash with all your Western exposure. Thank you, baby. My goodness, Angela, I thought you were ready. Why are you not on your game today? Where's the food? I'm bringing you, Ma. Let me go help her. Oh, thank you, honey. <laughs> Okay, well, I hope you all enjoy the meal that we've prepared. We've tried. And I've slaved over this meal, so I expect every single one to appreciate it. <clears throat> mm. It's good. Oh, okay. Okay, you know what you do for me? Uh, take this. Okay, ma. Now, now, now. Okay. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Go, go, go. Double up, Angela. Yes, ma. This? This is filthy. Angela! Please change this glass or clean it up for my son. <clears throat> so you didn't actually help out. You were just sitting there while she brought out everything. Um, it's called supervising, but you're dumb, so I won't put it past you not to understand. Sorry, you. Wife material. 100 years. Uh, uh, Angela! Angela! Yes, ma'am. Call me, ma. I'm... The glass, please. I don't understand how he takes you to get the glass, Angela. Thank you. <clears throat> so. <sighs> Honey, can we pray first? <clears throat> can we bow our heads and close our eyes, please? Heavenly Father, we thank you for this meal. Because some have food but cannot eat, and some can eat but have no food. But we can eat and we have food, and we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And as we know, we have some demonic parasites here. Mm. Mm. Parasites that want to reap where they did not sow. Mm. And right now we forcefully eject them uh, by force, mm. by fire, mm. in the name of Jesus. Amen! Amen. Amen. Mm. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen! Amen! Amen. Woo. Shall we? Mm. You're so petty and childish. Mm. I hope you choke on that. Please pass me the fruits, Sonia. Thank you. <clears throat> well, I don't know about you guys, but this is what I'm going to start with. <laughs> what now? You're going to pretend you're choking? I actually think he's choking for real. Take it easy. Okay. Okay. Babe! Greg! Right. Do you want some water, honey? <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> Honey! Are you okay? <coughs> no, 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 no. Sit down. Sit up. Greg! Sit down, Greg. Are you okay? Oh, no! Greg! 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 Somebody call an ambulance! Greg! Greg! What did you do? What did you do? Get me some more. Greg, 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 Greg,
What? I, I think he's, he's dead. <laughs> Like you care. He was my best friend. Yet you stole his woman. You're actually the only one here without ties to Greg. Excuse me, blind much? We were engaged. Really? Really, Osas? What? You're already referring to him in past tense. We're engaged. His body's not even cold yet. Oh, you forget that I almost died too. But, but you didn't die. die. Why? Why didn't you die? You don't think I killed him, do you? Did you? Why didn't you die? Oh, you would love that, wouldn't you? Of course I would. But you did not die. Why? Maybe because she has an antidote. Of course. Antidote? Really? An antidote? Did you kill him? An antidote? Did you kill him? I'm not explaining myself to you. You could have killed him. You could have killed him. You could have killed him. Key at that door. Good. job for you. I'm on suspension, remember? Alec.
What the hell are you? Hello? Hello? Uh, um, I'm uh, sorry. I have a phone call for you. Hello? It's you. You switched off your phone? You suspended me, remember? Listen, I had to. You punched a reporter on national TV. Mm, yeah, I did. You deserved it, though. Look, Detective Alex, this case is an under-the-table case. You solve it and your suspension will be lifted, okay? Really? Yes, really. Effective immediately. Okay, deal. Do this right. Use your backup effectively. Thank you, wet guy. You can go. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. I'm your backup. <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, not joking. Ah. What's your name again? Belgium. Like the country? Yes. Who did you offend? No one. That was meant to be a rhetorical question. Okay. Come in. Uh, we'll go freshen up and then we can go. Okay, ma. Don't call me, ma. Hello, ma'am. My name is Detective Alex, and we're here to conduct an investigation. Oh, yeah, come in. Thank you, ma'am. These are all the people that were here when it happened. Hello everyone, <clears throat> my name is Detective Alex and this is my colleague Bell, Bell, my colleague Bell. We are here to investigate the death of Mr. Gregor Sardini. We will do a thorough investigation doing series of interviews. Yes, ma'am. You look familiar. I probably have one of those faces. As I was saying... No, I'm sure I've seen you before. Good for you. As I was saying... You are the, you are the officer that slapped a journalist on national TV. 
Really, Miracle? Really? Yes, she's the one. I've seen her before. Detective, ma'am. And yes, that was me. He kept on interrupting me, so I punched him in the face. Luckily for him, I didn't have my gun. You, you are not going to shoot me. Um, I'm sorry, you can go on. Thank you, ma'am. We will like your cooperation, and if you're found innocent, you will leave here as soon as possible. Where's the body? Oh, I can take you. No, it's fine. Just point me in the right direction. It, it, it's straight down on, on your left. Thank you, ma'am. Belgium? Uh, yes, detective. Gloves, please. Oh, yes, of course. Here you go. What are you doing? Trying to find out the cause of death. This is it. He was poisoned. How do you know that? Uh, I just know. To be a good detective, you have to be able to back up your suspicions with physical evidence. You see the burning around his lips? Oh, uh, yes. It was done by something corrosive. And most corrosive substances have odor. Uh. <laughs> smells funny. I don't perceive anything. <sighs> of course you don't. Um. <sighs> Come on, me. Uh, right away. Thank you for your patience, everyone. <clears throat> A preliminary examination reveals that Mr. Greg was poisoned. <gasps> oh, who would have poisoned him? For this reason, we would like to conduct individual interviews. You mean interrogations? Yes, interrogations. Would you like to go first, ma'am? Are you serious? Yes, ma'am. Everyone is a suspect. 
This is wrong. No. No. It's okay. I I'll take you somewhere private. I'll tell you, ma'am. I'm scared of you all. Me too, babe. Why is she? How fast do you type? 70 words per minute. Please sit down, ma. You said something? Please sit down. I'm sorry. This, uh, this was my husband's space. Greg and I used to come here when we wanted to to be close to him, you know. Did you kill your son? Wait, what? Did you kill your son? Sorry, ma, I have to ask, and you have to answer. didn't kill my son. Greg was my world. Tell me everything you did right from the moment you woke up. I, uh, I woke up earlier than usual. What is earlier than usual? 6 a.m. And what is usual? Oh, uh, 7 a.m. thereabout. Okay. Go on. Oh, I... I went straight to Angela's room. I, I called out to her. She wasn't there. So I... Uh, when she came to me, I told her... I gave her instructions on what to cook and how many people was coming. I, I went back to bed and uh, I, I didn't wake up till like 9 a.m. I, I freshened up, got dressed and came back down. Oh, on my way down, I had an argument with Greg I get about what? Greg. He didn't want his soon to be ex wife, fiance, and baby mother all in the same room. He thought it wasn't a good idea, but I, I convinced him that we needed to sort this out and move on with our lives. Guess I was wrong. Has your son always been this promiscuous? What? 
your son? Has he always been this promiscuous? You don't bite your tongue, do you? I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm just doing my job. My Greg was happily married for years before I lost my husband. When was that? Four years ago. He lost his best friend and I lost my husband. His best friend? Yeah. <laughs> His father was the closest person to him. He was never the same after that. Hmm. Just one more question now. Which of them do you think hits him enough to kill him? Which of them who? Like, I mean his friends? He has friends. They have issues with him, but how do I know who's a murderer? Think hard, ma. They all had issues with him. We all had have issues in life. Like, but to kill someone. Not even Koda. Koda is a gold digger, but not a murderer. Hmm. You can go. That's it. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> now you find who killed my son. You hear me? Who do our job, ma'am? Find who killed Greg. Did you get all done? Yes, what do you think? I don't know what to think yet. But get the house up, let's talk to her next. Okay, I'll do the house. Um, Angela. Please come with me. This way. Do you need something for that? I'm okay. Thank you, ma. Okay, then. Why did you kill Greg or Sadimi? I did not kill Oga Greg. God is my witness. All I did was serve him food. I did not kill him. Oga Greg is a nice person. He gives me money. 
I did not kill him. So who did? I don't know. I don't believe you. I don't know. I know you killed him. I'm trying to help you here, so you need to tell me why you poisoned him. I did not kill him. God that created heaven and earth knows I didn't kill him. I didn't kill him. I swear I didn't kill him. I don't believe that. You alone cooked the food. You alone served the food. No one else came in contact with the food apart from you. So how am I supposed to believe you? That, that, that's not true. That's not true. What's not true? The ladies came in contact with the food at one t point or the other. Madame Nena, she, she somehow ended up in the kitchen when she was supposed to be in the toilet. Are you sure? Yes. I saw her coming up from the kitchen. Uh-uh. Auntie, do not go to the toilet again. Um, I'm... I missed my way and um, oh. the scent of the food got me distracted and decided to check what you were cooking. Well, uh, I'm making fried rice, vegetable salad, chicken and planting. Oh, nice. It, it seems very nice. Thank you, Ma. You're welcome. <laughs> no, the, the toilet is that way. Yes, um, toilet. Yes. Right. Thank you, Angela. And she told me she missed her way to the toilet, so I directed her to the toilet. You said all the ladies. Yes. And Madame Miracle, she was in the kitchen. I, I found, and even Madame Ostas, she, she was there, she was with me. She, 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 she was the one who supervised the, the serving of the food. Supervised? Yes, she was there when I was serving the food. So you left her alone in the kitchen? Yes, but not for long. I mean, I was I was going and I was coming. Okay then. You can go. What are these ladies up to? Who's next? I'll handle this one myself. This is Miracle Academy. me. Yes, please. Please come with me. I want my lawyer with me. Excuse me? Koda is my lawyer. I want my lawyer with me. He's a suspect, ma'am. Sitting in on your interrogation gives him access to privileged information, which he can use to defend himself if he's the guilty one. Oh, okay. Babe. It's okay, baby. I got this. So I'm just going to dive right in. 
Is that okay? Sure, whatever rocks your boat. Okay. Um, did you kill your husband, Mrs. Miracle Lasademi? I did not kill Gregory or Sadime. Are you okay? I am fine. Go on. Can you tell me what you did from the moment you walked in to the moment Mr. Greg died? Yes. Speak. You asked if I can tell you, you didn't ask me to. I'm sorry. Please tell me everything you did right from the moment you walked in to the moment Mr. Greg died. I walk in with my fiance Koda. We went straight to the living room and I said hello to mom, Mrs. Osadime and Greg. And I sat next to Koda until the rest of the guests came in and, and we went to the, to the dining room where he died. That's it? Yes, that's it. Just to clarify, ma'am, you're saying you did not leave the room until you were asked to go to the dining area? No, I did not. So you're saying you didn't go anywhere else apart from the dining area? You have to answer the question, What's your question? Did you go anywhere else apart from the dining area? No, I did not. Angela says she saw you in the kitchen. Who now? Angela, the help. Oh, that girl. I don't know what she's talking about. Ma'am, you have to tell me what you did to the food. If not, I'm going to put you in handcuffs and drag you to the station. Handcuffs? Really? I didn't put anything in Gregory's food. So what did you go to do in the kitchen? I'm on a diet. What? I am on a diet. How does that explain you in the kitchen? I can't, I can't eat so much in front of those people. They will laugh at me, especially that thing or sass. And I, I just went to the kitchen to grab something to eat. Do you need something, Ma? Mm -hmm. Excuse me, Ma. Hmm? Do you need something? I tell anybody to help you. That's it. Yes, that's it. So you're saying you did not go to the kitchen to poison him because he refused to sign your divorce papers? No, I didn't! You wanted to divorce him so badly. So how am I sure you didn't kill him? Did you kill your husband, Mrs. Miracle or Sademi? I didn't kill him! Sorry? <laughs> He's just a selfish bastard who refused to sign the divorce papers before he died. Um, he didn't mean to die. But he did! He was poisoned. Yes, that's the thing! He's playing the victim! I am the victim here! He made me a widow and he did not sign the papers before he died! Well, now you can just go ahead and get married. I don't understand. I have to mourn. I have to mourn. I have to wear. I have to wear black clothes. I, I hate black clothes. It, it's just gonna make me look. It's gonna make me look pale. And the most annoying part is I have to act like I'm sad and I'm not sad. Don't you understand? Uh, I'm sorry. And he's not going to die well. Oh no! I'm a widow! Oh my god, no!
Babe, are you okay? No, I just need to clean the mess in my face. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that woman is weird. No. She's just one of those selfish people that thinks the world revolves around them. Get the pregnant woman next. Uh, okay, detective. Uh, um, Nana, yeah? uh, you are next. Please, can you help me? Uh, sure. Please sit down, man. Thank you. Are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> okay, then. How long have you known Mr. Greg? Ten years. And you were never romantically involved? No. He just wanted to be friends. And you? Sorry? You said he just wanted to be friends. And you? I wanted the same thing. The same thing being just friends? Yes. We both just wanted to be friends. Okay. So you were never at any point in love with him? No, he's like a brother to me. <laughs> really? Look, this was a mistake. It was the first and last. Can you tell me what you did from the moment you got here to the moment Mr. Greg died? Angela was the first person I met at the door. She ushered me into the living room. I wanted to ease myself. I went, when I got back, I was ushered to the dining table immediately. Hmm. So you were never at any point in the kitchen? The kitchen? Yes. Oh, yes, um, the kitchen, yes, I was, I was there briefly. Why? Detective, it's a big house. I missed my way. You are Mr. Greg's oldest friend. You're supposed to be familiar with the place. It must be your mom's. <laughs> so you were not in the kitchen to poison him? No. I'm carrying the man's child. Why would I want him dead? Because you could not have him to yourself? I had him. I had him to myself. He was my best friend. He was a wonderful son. Look, even though he was not the best husband, he meant well and he, was, he had a good heart. Please tell me again what you did from the moment you got to the house and the moment Mr. Greg died. Really? Yes. We need to be tar. Angela was the first person I met at the door. She ushered me into the living room. I said hello to everybody. I wanted to ease myself but I missed my way and I ended up in the kitchen. I, on my way out, I saw Angela, we spoke briefly. She directed me to the toilet. And when I got out, I was ushered to the dining table where we sat to eat and that was it. Walk me through it again. Really? Yes. Do you have a problem with that? Do you do this with every other person? I cannot reveal that, ma'am. Angela was the first person I met at the door. She ushered me into the living room. I said hello to everybody. I wanted to ease myself. I missed my way and found myself in the kitchen. 
On my way out, I met Angela. We spoke briefly. She directed me to the toilet. When I got back, we were ushered to the dining table where we sat to eat. And that was it. Why do you keep rubbing your palms together? No, I wasn't rubbing my palms. Yes, you were. So, okay, if I was, so what? Why do you do it? How does this help your investigation? <laughs> it doesn't. Can I go now? Yeah, you can. Is everything okay? She's definitely hiding something. Why do you say that? Every time she talks about going to the kitchen, she rubs our palms together. So? It means she did more in the kitchen than she's telling us. Hmm. What do we do now? What is going on here? Excuse me? Um, Bella has come to call everyone else. Belgium. What? No. That's fine. Please sit down. Thank you. Please state your full name. I miss Osas Osademe. Uh, just to clarify, your last name is also Osademe. It's Idehe. So you're Miss Osas Idehe? No, I'm Miss Osas Osademe. He proposed to me. Yeah, but in the eyes of the law, you're still an Idehe. Really? Yes. Well, the law is very wrong then, because this is a symbol of our union. Your engagement. Whatever. For uh, record purposes, I'm just going to leave it as a uh, Miss Osazi there. It's fine by me. Okay. Okay, so can you tell me what you did to the moment Mr. Greg died? Okay. So he woke up by, he woke me up by sending me a picture of his dick. Uh, no, no. I mean, from the moment you got here to the moment he died. Oh. Well. I came in here looking all elegant and I went straight to my, no, I said hello to everyone except for Miracle and Koda, I hate those two. Then I walked straight to my man, which is Greg of course. He kissed me so, so passionately. Oh my God. What is it? Uh, I think he was trying to tell me something. Tell you what? Like, like he knew he was about to die. Uh, I don't understand. So, I walked up to him, he kissed me so passionately, and then he grabbed my butt. But in a normal day, it's usually the other way around. He grabbed my butt first, then he kisses me passionately. So he did it differently. That's a sign. No? Really? Yes, really. Like, it felt like our last kiss. What happened next? Um, I... Where was I? Um, he grabbed your butt, then he kissed you. No, he kissed me first, then he grabbed my butt, as opposed to doing it the other way around. So we're all ushered to the dining, and then I sat right next to him, looking graciously, of course. That got miracles so jealous. And mom started to complain about the food girl about being really slow. She also doubles as the door girl. And if 
you ask me, between you and I, I think she murdered him. Oh, God. Why would she kill him? Uh, the same reason poor people do the bad things that they do. They hate their lives and they're envious and they want to live the lives of we, the elites. Really? Yes. <sighs> okay, what next? So I went to assist her in the kitchen by supervising, of course. I mean, <laughs> I look so good. And I did that so elegantly and diligently, as you can see. We are in a point alone in the kitchen. Yes, I... What are you insinuating? Please answer the question, ma'am. Are you saying that I murdered my own fiancé? Did you? Why would you ask me that? That's so unfair. I loved him. We never had a fight in my life. We were so in love. We never argued. We never fought. Except for the one time that I threw a knife at him because I caught him cheating and he denied vehemently. So that got me pissed. So I threw the knife, but it did not hit him though. Please go on. He was coming home every week during that period, reeking of cheap perfume. And look at me, honey. Do I look like I wear cheap perfume? Of course not. I got mad. We argued. I threw the knife. It did not hit him. Yeah, you said that. Oh, I did? Thank you. I mean, we sorted it out and then we moved on. <laughs> When was this? About a month ago. Before he proposed. Oh my God. You can go. I can go? It's so... <laughs> so, can I? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Hi, Bella. Belgium. <laughs> oh my God. So what do you think? She seemed too stupid to kill him. But then again, it might just be an act. So are we focusing on Nina? Yeah. She seemed to be the only one with a complicated story. Really? Well, more complicated story. But how come did Angela didn't see anything? She probably did. She's just too scared to come forward. So are we looking into the cheap woman perfume? What's the point? She's not here. So what next? Angela is the only one who saw the three leaders in the kitchen. We need to gain her trust so she can come forward. Mm. For now, just get me Mr. Corey De Silva. Okay, right away. Please sit down, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, detective. Um, I would have you know that I am a lawyer and I do know my rights. I'm sure you do. Okay. Go on. What is it you want to know? Why did you kill Gregor Sademi? I did not. He was my best friend. I heard you guys had a fallout. Yeah, we did. I mean, friends fight, don't they? 
But they don't engage their best friend, X5. He's engaged to my ex-girlfriend. So you got angry? Then what? Then nothing. That girl is as stupid as they come. This isn't the place. This I, isn't the right place. I, I didn't just think it. This. What do you need? Why are you here, Victoria? I want to find out if you sold my brother's party. This isn't the right time. I don't, don't care. You get it? I don't, don't you care. ever get it? I don't Victoria. care. This is not the time for this. This is my house. I'm sure. Hello? What's happening here? There's absolutely nothing going on. You can get back to whatever it is you're doing. She's about to leave. Oh no, I'm not about to leave. In fact, I've come to stay. I'm not going anywhere. I'm sorry, madam. Who are you? Oh, my name is Victoria Osademi. The younger sister of Chief Osademi, who unfortunately got into this gold digger's clothes. Gold digger? Yes. Uh -oh. I'm not in this for money. Um. Uh -oh. But she's family. F family? Do I look like I'm related to this thing? <laughs> uh, well, if there's anybody who's not family, she's the one. The woman is considered family when she's married and have kids for her husband. She had nothing for my little brother. Absolutely nothing Victoria. for my brother. Don't Victoria me. Sorry. I thought she was Greg's mother. Greg is my son. No. Greg is not your son. Her late brother got his maid pregnant. He told me. This woman begged her to keep the pregnancy so you can show off. Greg is my son. Greg is not your son. Greg is my nephew. By the way, where's the Greg? The Greg in question is dead. Ah! Later carried out your threats. She said she was good. Hey! Where's my family? Madam. Yeah, my family people. No! Don't madam me. Alexa! Oh God. Sorry. Um, Where's my phone? Don't madam me. Where's my phone? Hello? Hello? Hey, Richard. Hello? Richard. Stay one place. Hey, Richard! Richard is me. Richard, are you standing or sitting? Madam. You are standing, get a chair! I want to tell you something. Do you know that Greg is dead? Yes! Your brother's only son. That has killed him. Madam! Hey! Let me call you back. I'll call I'm here! Larissa. Why would she kill her son? Exactly. That's a good question. Really? My late brother willed everything he ever owned to that boy. And if the boy is dead, she gets everything. Um. I'm sorry, ma. At this point, I have to ask you. Did you at any point have contact with the food prior to when it was cooked or <gasps> after it was what served? Is it? Are you kidding me? I brought you into this home to investigate my son's death and you dare ask me such a question? Oh, you did so that they would suspect you? Of course now, that's obvious. That's obvious. Suspect <gasps> me for what, madam? For killing my blood. Is it true? No, I didn't kill my son. No. Wait a minute. I don't stand to gain anything. She's still married to my son. She inherits everything. What? Wait, I get everything? Come, did you kill my nephew? No, no, I didn't. Oh, at this point, we're just going to go continue our interview. Mr. Koda, please come with me. Can you imagine?
Hello, sir. Hello, Alex. How is your investigation going? I have never come across so much drama in my entire life. Drama? Yes. He's engaged to his best friend, ex-girlfriend. His best friend is engaged to his ex-wife. And to top it all, his best friend is pregnant for him. I thought you said his best friend was engaged to his wife. That's his best friend, boy. I don't understand what you just said. Neither do I. Listen, Detective Alex. Sir. Solving this case gets you off suspension, remember? I'm sorry about that. <coughs> we'll just pick up from where we left. Um, okay. So you say you were not angry that you engaged your ex-girlfriend? No, I was not. Not even a little? No, detective, not even a little. Did you at any point come in contact with the food before it was served? Look, um, I understand that you have a pool of suspects and that you're just doing your job, but I am not the killer here. Why should I believe you? Because I do not have a motive. I'm even more suspicious of the mother now. How could she have kept that kind of secret for, for so long? That doesn't make her a killer. Well, maybe true. Okay, how about Nena? What about her? She has been in love with Greg right from 100 level. She says they're just friends. That's because Greg insisted. He wasn't attracted to her. She told him how she felt? Yes. She went ballistic when he said, no, you needed to have seen her. I even thought she was going to kill him then. Are you sure about this, sir? If I'm sure, I witnessed the whole thing. The whole thing. There was a semester she followed him all through. If this is true, how come they are still best friends? Maybe she, because she, she, she told him that she had moved on. Mm. That they could be just friends, I guess. Okay then. Um, you did not answer my question. What question? Did you at any point come in contact with the food prior to when it was served? No, detective, I, I did not come in contact with the food or drinks until it was served. Can I go now? Okay. You can go. What are you thinking? What do you think I'm thinking? Mm. I can't say. Hmm. No, no. There's something about her. So you think she killed him? Maybe. So are we making an arrest? Hmm. We need a confession or a witness for the charges to stick. Missy Nena, please come with me. Again? 
Yes, ma'am. Why? We have follow-up questions, ma'am. What questions? Ma'am, kindly come with us, please. I won't. I am tired of this nonsense. If you had anything on me, you would arrest me. If not, I'm not going anywhere. Madam. Don't man me. Don't. Any questions you have, say it right here. Why did you kill Mr. Greg? I didn't kill Greg. He was my best friend. Really? He was just your friend? Yes, and I told you everything I know. No, you didn't. Really? <laughs> You've what? been in love with Mr. Greg right from your university days. That is not true. You were not his type. That is not true. That is not true. He friend zoned you. That is not true. Every time he got in and out of a relationship, he thought this true. was it. That is not true. But it wasn't it. That is not true. That is not true. That is not true. You thought that if you couldn't have him, no one else would have him. That is not true. Shut up. Shut up. Shut your mouth. I loved Greg. With every bone in my body, I loved him. I, I, I didn't mean to kill him. <laughs> I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't mean to kill him, but I didn't. What's going on? I didn't mean to kill him. Hey! I'm, 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 I'm carrying this child and it was clearly a mistake. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to kill him. You'll be sorry in prison. I'm sorry, please. Madam. I didn't mean to kill him. Madam. I killed my husband. Please come with us. Please, I beg you, I cannot do well in jail. I'm pregnant. I didn't mean to kill him. I didn't, I didn't mean to kill him. I didn't, I didn't mean to kill him. Angela, Angela, please. Angela, please tell them. Tell them you saw me put powder in his pot. I, 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 you were just powder. You saw her was it, Greg? You were just powder. Please, I beg you. Please, please. It was just powder. Yeah, have you seen? Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Whatever happened between us was that night and I was drunk. I'm still your boss. Okay? And you are what? The maid. Yes, sir. You were beneath him. You're not in this class. That was not gonna happen. You being with him. 
So you decided to poison him? You poisoned him, didn't you? Angela, please change this glass. I'll clean it up for myself. Did you poison Mr. Gray? <laughs> Thank you. Come on, come on, come on. 